When you look at how many lines are actually there, it's an incredible number. Over 800 lines total. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most intriguing unanswered questions and issues in the field of ancient history. Stonehenge itself was extensively excavated during the 20th century. Those digs established that the monument was built in stages. Number 10, the Copper Scroll Treasure. Despite being one of the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Copper Scroll varies significantly from the others. It's written on metal, not papyrus or parchment, and uses a different writing system. But most importantly, it's not religious in nature. Rather, it reveals the supposed locations of hidden treasure. Could these brittle fragments of corroded metal hold the clues to finding ancient buried gold the scroll dates back to the first century, when the area it was found in was under the control of the Roman Empire. As such, many experts believe that the treasure was hidden to prevent it falling into the hands of the Romans. Did they commission the copper scroll to preserve the exact location of over 60 separate hordes? Unfortunately, the clues are quite abstract and none of the treasure has been recovered. Furthermore, some theorize that it doesn't even exist or that the Romans found it. We just don't know. The wealth was so great, the Roman emperors could fund the construction of the greatest amphitheater ever built. Number 9. The Plain of Jars In Laos lies the Plain of Jars, and it's exactly what it sounds like, a plain of jars. The stone vessels dot the San Juan Plateau, but no one really knows what they're for. Complicating matters is the lack of research into the jars, as undetonated bombs from the Vietnam War make access extremely difficult. The vessels vary in all manners, with different sizes, placements, decorations, and even lids. No jar was alike, they were all different. The leading theory is that the stone jars were used as burial urns, but there is some evidence that seems to contradict that assertion. Research is slowly but surely ongoing, so perhaps one day we'll know conclusively what the jars were for, who made them, and how they got there. You know, I really don't know why they were there, but I'm in awe. Number 8. Cleopatra's Tomb Despite being one of the most important figures in human history, we have no idea where Cleopatra ended up. For centuries, this enigmatic woman has captured the imagination of the world. But the location of her tomb is still a mystery. Cleopatra served as queen of the Ptolemaic Kingdom for 21 years between 51 and 30 BCE. Her life came to an end at her own hands, as she poisoned herself after Octavian invaded Egypt and defeated her lover Mark Antony. Octavian allowed them to be buried together, but their tomb has never been found. This kicks off an incredible mystery that lasts to this day. Experts assume that it's somewhere around Alexandria, and recent searches have narrowed it to the ancient city of Taposiris Magna. But as of yet, Antony and Cleopatra remain lost to time together. As Shakespeare wrote, no grave on earth shall clip in it a pair so famous. And its discovery would be one of the greatest finds in the history of archaeology. Number 7. King Arthur There's a lot to unpack about King Arthur. Mainly, was he real? Arguably the most popular and influential character in the Western canon, King Arthur is the subject of his own field of study. The problem is that the first written record of Arthur appears three centuries after his reign, meaning there was tons of time to, shall we say, embellish the record. He becomes the center of these medieval romances, where he is the quintessential leader. This legendary storytelling was not helped by Geoffrey of Monmouth's mostly fictional account, from which much Arthurian material is taken. Many scholars agree that King Arthur never existed, but this is far from being a consensus. Furthermore, some argue that he is a completely fictional fabrication, while others posit that he is a composite character of war heroes. Is it possible that King Arthur wasn't merely a myth, but rather a real man? Number 6. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon And speaking of things that may never have existed, let's talk about the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. A number of ancient writers have described the gardens and praised the engineering behind them, lending credence to the idea that they actually existed. Since it was built nearly 3,000 years ago, no one has found a single trace. However, none of these writers were the primary source of the descriptions, which makes them seem more like legend than historical fact. No contemporary account of the gardens exists, and no archaeological record has ever been found. However, some theorize that evidence lies under the excavated Euphrates River. 
gardens built by a king to demonstrate his mastery over nature. Oxford scholar Stephanie Daly also posits that historians confused Babylon for Nineveh, where evidence of a complex aqueduct system does exist. Number five, the Ark of the Covenant. Biblical artifacts are a source of fascination, especially when they relate to real history. The Ark of the Covenant plays a major role in the Book of Exodus, being the vessel of the Ten Commandments tablets. According to the Old Testament, the Israelites carry the Ark for 40 years, wandering through the desert. The Ark is also later mentioned as carrying Aaron's walking stick and a pot of divine food called manna. Written records of the Ark disappear with the Babylonian siege of Jerusalem, which occurred in 587 BCE. King Nebuchadnezzar II and his men sacked Solomon's temple, which is where the Ark was said to have been stored. He houses the Ark inside within a special room called the Holy of Holies. It's unclear what happened to the divine vessel, as there is no evidence that it was taken or destroyed. They also set Jerusalem on fire, and everything burns, including perhaps the Ark. Number four, the Voynich Manuscript. It's rare that a book invents its own language. Well, the Voynich Manuscript did. It's called Voynichese, which is fancy talk for what the hell is this thing saying? In this tangle of text and images, an expert's eye can easily get lost. It's about 600 years old, having been penned during the early Italian Renaissance. While we know when and where it came from, that's about the extent of our collective knowledge. The manuscript is 240 pages in length, but not one of them truly provides a clue as to who wrote it or why. It's the world's most mysterious book, written by an unknown author. Furthermore, the contents are completely unintelligible, following no known languages or writing systems. Research into the book is ongoing, but even the best cryptographers of the 20th century couldn't crack its elusive codes. For the time being, the Voynich manuscript remains what it has been for the last 600 years. It's a hall of mirrors reflecting each researcher's own imagination. Number three, the Nazca Lines. Head to southern Peru, get yourself in a helicopter, and you may see the legendary Nazca Lines. They lie neglected for more than a thousand years and aren't rediscovered until the era of the airplane. Created in the desert of the same name, the Nazca Lines are a series of complex geoglyphs made by removing the surface pebbles and exposing the lighter colored subsoil underneath. These date back as early as 500 BCE and were made a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994. However, no one knows why the ancient Nazca culture constructed these famous designs. And for 100 years now, ever since Cespi first spotted them, they've been a mystery. Theories range from religious significance to astronomical interpretations to a fancy irrigation or aqueduct system. Or maybe they just wanted to draw big monkeys in the desert. Who knows? There are spirals, zigzags. There are drawings of birds, spiders, monkeys, immense in scale. Number two, the collapse of the Late Bronze Age. You'd think something as monumental as a complete societal collapse would be well understood, but you would be mistaken. Armageddon, the apocalypse the end of the world. Predicted thousands of times, but in 1200 BC, it actually happened. Between 1200 and 1150 BCE, cultures of the Eastern Mediterranean and the Near East violently collapsed, bringing about the Greek Dark Ages. The palace economy of the time was upended, and the entire Hittite Empire was disintegrated. What we've got is a series of destructions. Most of the main cities, towns, palaces are destroyed. So what exactly happened in those history-altering years? Well, explanations like volcanic eruptions, deadly pandemics, devastating droughts, and violent invasions have been put forth, but those are still just speculations. The truth is, our knowledge of the collapse is about as dark as the dark ages that followed. What is undeniable is that after the fall, something entirely new emerged. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Stonehenge. We know Stonehenge is in England. We know the stones weigh about 25 tons each. We know it's aligned with the summer and winter solstices. And we know it's about 5,000 years old. And, well, that's about it. Who built it? How was it built? And why? 
Stonehenge predates the Egyptian pyramids, with the first phase of construction occurring about 3100 BCE. Unfortunately, the culture that built Stonehenge did not leave records, so modern researchers can only speculate about its nature. All these giants are made of sarsen, a local sandstone harder than granite. Yet they were carved and fitted like woodwork. We don't know why the monument was built, and we certainly don't know how it was built. In fact, its construction is so baffling that many theories, including supernatural ones, have been put forth. Around 2500 BC, Stonehenge became a monument like no other, a symbol of everything the Stone Age could achieve. Do you have the answers to any ancient mysteries? Let us know in the comments below. What the hell is this? Nobody knows for sure, Russ. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.